Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here with Zenrut. Hi. And we're gonna be playing this old GBA Dragon Ball game. I'm alright with that. It's alright. Um Yeah, where this is a you're gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna say right now, I'm very busy with work this week, so expect a lot of things that if, when it's not Yu-Gi-Oh! Just very quick games for us to play. What difficulty do we want? Do we want regular, hard, or easy? Uh, I would say probably regular. All or right. maybe even easy, because we don't always do so good. That's fair. I'm also playing this on a computer. So. I Wait, I can, there's a one-on-one -on -one mode? <laughs> I've never played this game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me just take a quick look. Oh, wow. Finally, my dream fighting game of Kid Goku versus Krillin. Thank God, we made it. <laughs> yeah, the Dragon Ball Fighters patch notes have included that the, the only characters left are Kid Goku and Krillin. Now, I'm not going to say this because everyone knows the fucking... Well, maybe not. Apparently, there's just a buttload of people who have never read Dragon Ball. Yeah, the, you mean the optional comedic prequel to Dragon Ball Z? Uh, why you gotta hurt me with words? I know you're joking, <laughs> but it hurts. <laughs> it was a beautiful ball. Yeah, it didn't start. They were Dragon Balls. They had to find them all. The seven mystic balls. Da, da, da. Da, da. Uh, see, if only I had. <laughs> if I had only prepared the theme song to play throughout the entirety. <laughs> uh, if only, uh, damn it, you know what? Next part is just going to be... Uh, I'm going to turn off the game music and only that song will play. <laughs> yes, please. Right. Oh, yeah, man. This is some old school GBA mess right here. Oh, yeah. The funny thing is, is that this is the kind of GBA mess where it's like, all right, good enough. <laughs> I don't need a yeah. lot from. <laughs> I don't need a lot. I'm, for some reason, Goku's fighting just an unending army of pig boars. Well, like... yeah, that's just sort of what Goku does, right? Yeah. Did you just be... pause the game accidentally? Yes, I did. If anyone who has read the original Dragon Ball, they know that Goku just beat the shit out of pterodactyls non nonstop. Mm-hmm. And uh, boar men with swords. Yeah, that that was his number one enemy. Wow, <laughs> the disrespect on Goku there. I don't even know how the fuck I did that. It seems really hard to lose life in this game because every single time you've ever gotten hit, you immediately get an apple out of a guy. Well, we are playing on regular. And almost. Still. I'm also fucking Goku. If this game isn't accurate to Dragon Ball unless Goku is borderline unstoppable. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I guess that's fair. The ac an accurate, uh, wow, and I'm just gonna eat this burger in a cave, because that's how Kid Goku do. He finds burger, he eats Who burger. That? Who made that burger? Probably this pterodactyl that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Cod uh, 11. I love the old Game Boy animation where they're just like, <laughs> running yeah. over to you really slowly. It's really good. I love. I love also his run here because it's he's like doing a not not a Naruto run, but do you he's see what like I mean? A, where his arms are arms straight out to the side. Yeah. Yeah, and this is his walk, and then when he runs, there we go, full on sprint. He actually runs. Look at that. Look at that hair sprite movement out there. Yeah, considering uh, you know, compared to other games. Obviously not as, uh, it's not on the tippity top of the Game Boy, but I will say it is better than stuff like Planet of the Apes for the Game Boy Advance. So. <laughs> That's fair. So in terms of other Shonen Jump games on the GBA that we have looked at, let's say, Damn, uh. Damn, what a nice flip. Yeah, I like, there's a lot of just like nice animation here that even though it's simple, it doesn't last very long. Uh, Yes. I love everything about Kid Goku just beating the shit out of these boars, while Bulma is, I guess, off-screen not doing anything. Yeah, I assume. Are, are we rescuing her from the pterodactyl right now? Is that why you're fighting a million pterodactyls? That would explain it. I'm gonna have to go... Does that boar have a gun? I just now yeah. noticed. Red boars have guns. Well, he's never gonna use Blue it. Blue boars got stuck with swords like idiots. Yeah. Imagine having a sword when the other guys get guns. Oh, hello. Oh, that's <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> right to the top of Burger Mountain. Right to the top of Burger Mountain. Ah, oh, man, I miss when Kid Goku was like this. Obviously, I love Dragon Ball Z and here. everything, but I just love everything about Kid Goku. The powerful. Yeah, Kid Goku's pretty great. Oh, they yeah. have bombs. They're dropping bombs. I guess they learned from the other pterodactyls who were unable to do anything. 
Imagine, like, having an evil army of pterodactyls with bombs, and they all get beaten down by one little boy. One child. One child with a pole. Don't think you can run away from me. <laughs> I'm gonna come after you. Okay, that's... Now he's damaged me, so I have to kill him. This is a thing of respect. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame on me. <laughs> nice. Nice apple. Fool me. I like how the apple is not that healthy compared... Or, like, doesn't bring as much life back as the burger. <laughs> And oh, I died. The <laughs> Try once again. <laughs> I, that was just a full on death. Yeah, I can I can go again. Do I have to start all the way from the beginning? <laughs> uh, well, it is an old GBA game, so yeah, it kind of looks that way. All right, fair enough. I'm just gonna don't fucking shoot me. These guys are unbelievable. And yeah, to be fair, this is how old games are. Actually, I'm not that far back. I didn't start all the way at the beginning. This fucking guy. Oh, uh, yeah, it's gun guy. I remember you. I like that they respawn immediately. So even though that guy was... I literally killed him, he had enough time to spawn in the background. Alright. My number one fear in all platforming... Uh, brawler platformers is having any form of platforming in them. Yeah. It's like always the most unrefined, terrible platforming in the world. <laughs> Basically. I just used my special meter. You didn't see any of that because it was off screen, but it looked pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, did not catch any of that. Fucking pterodactyl. These bomb pterodactyls suck. They do. It's so funny that Dragon Ball just has a bunch of pterodactyls. Hanging around. Yeah, remember when dinosaurs were like actually part of the plot? Yes, I do. <laughs> Remember when Gohan just continuously fucked up that one dinosaur over and over. I just punched the bomb and it did not hurt me. <laughs> Good. That just All right, shows now the... you have to actually platform. Yeah, well, first let me deal with this asshole over here. Who's hovering right over the gap you need to go through. Yep. Ah, oh, bitch. I'm going to get away from that bridge. The bridge is the greatest enemy I've ever fought. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh no! More <laughs> dudes with swords. More sword guys. What am I gonna do? It really it gave you like it's... a little warning sign too, like oh man. But then that's just fucking sword guys. Oh, I like this. Oh, wow, I can do this. Don't yeah. really seem to help be helping very much. How do you like that shit? All right, get over here. I'm done with you. Tear deck. I'm pretty sure that deflects like projectiles. Does not deflect bombs, <laughs> but apparently that bomb was being dropped on me at that exact moment. I should check next time there's a guy with a gun. Go away, sword Your man. Your health is uh, precariously low. I and you're on worry. a bridge. So. Well, if I die, then I'll die to instant death. Like any good player would. <laughs> ah, these, I hate pterodactyls now. They're everywhere. Like, I, don't, I think Goku is responsible for the extinction of the pterodactyl. <laughs> or they're on endangered species list, at least. Do you remember the end of um, Z stuff where he, instead of going to, I believe it was the... Where he took care of that baby pterodactyl? Yeah, instead of... Oh, oh that was just a dog! It was yeah. just a dog! <laughs> okay, now they're attacking. But they're, like, kind of nice about it. Look at their face. They are. Go to rest, dog. He's just so angry. This face of Kid Goku explains 100%, like, the differences between the West and the <laughs> East. Oh. <laughs> Got a dragon oh, hey, radar. We got the dragon radar. I guess Bulma's just dead. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I don't need her. That's fine. Hello, dog. Who needs don't... Bulma? I like that it shows that he only does eight damage to me, and then I do like a hundred <laughs> on every. <laughs> yeah. Fourth. Yeah, Goku's a little OP. Just a little bit, you know, as expected. Though, if Goku was not OP, then it would not be Dragon Ball. He would not be doing justice to the Monkey King that he is named after. Move Very true. If I remember correctly, is also just ex extremely strong for a monkey. Yes. Yes, he is. Get, get going. All right. Get over here. I once, um... Oh, is that a teddy bear? What it was... I don't know what it was. Apparently it was just wall chicken hanging out. Like Castlevania. <laughs> All right. Ah, good dog. Good bed. Oh, I can test out... Oh, damn it. green <laughs> pig guy now. Alright, pig guys, get out of my face. 
This pterodactyl isn't even doing anything to me, but I feel... Oh, never mind. He swooped at me. He tried. It wasn't very successful, but he tried. He did. Come on. We all know that none of you are getting past me, so let's just get the formalities out of the way. You think all these guys are like, man, fuck. <laughs> this kid's Damn. ripping us up. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. See, that was some Ultra Instinct type shit right there. That's what he used on Jiren. <laughs> That's how he beat Jiren, was that move right there. 100%. You know what's funny is that I also think that is a special attack animation for uh, Ultra Instinct in, in Dokkan. <laughs> oh, where it is! Where he bounces. Oh, it's Turtle! Hello, Turtle. And it's... I forget the name of this guy. <laughs> Hello, friend. He looks about... like the bad guy from the Goku Jr. thing. He does. He's also the first guy who tries to eat Turtle. I remember that much. Uh... Don't tell me you're going to defy me. Me, the boar with a mohawk and a sword. The boar with an even bigger sword than the last boars that had swords. If Now he's going to eat me now. I mean, if this is the correct Goku fight, I should just be able to stand here and punch the shit out of him until he is dead. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Get in my face. I don't think you understand who I am. 5,000 damage 5, in one 000. hit. Jesus Christ. Area fucking cleared. Damn right. At the crest of the rescue turtle, Goku and the others made their- Oh man, is this the part Goku where they're gonna- the others, even though there's only Bulma in the party still. Oh, hello there. I do not like the way Roshi came slowly from below. <laughs> you saved my turtle, right? Old timer, who are you? Everyone knows I'm Master Roshi. Didn't you read my, my title entrance? <laughs> Haven't you been listening to the narrator, kid? Come on. Look at the the all the animation on that Nimbus. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, is that the first shot of Bulma we've gotten since we started? Yeah. Her hair looks like look at her eyebrows and her hair like all fucking mashed together. Yeah, that's a not not a very flattering look for Bulma. All right, Yahoo. That's slightly better. Her eyebrow game is really strong. Yeah, it's bad, man. Look how far up her forehead they are. <laughs> Oh my god, they completely retconned the fact that uh, she had to show her vagina to <laughs> Roshi. Roshi's just like, hey, here, have it. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, whatever, there you go. <laughs> and according to the courts, I just have to give this to you now. <laughs> I never asked for anything more. If the police ask, I just handed this to you. I just gave it to the nice girl. I didn't do anything else. And to be fair to Roshi, which is this is the only time I'll say this, to be fair to Roshi, he just wanted to see her belly button. He, he didn't he didn't know he was getting the full show. <laughs> well, I thought it was uh, just that he wanted to see her panties, but then she wasn't wearing any. Oh, no, that's right. In the English dub, he wants to see her, um, he wants to see her belly button. And then in the, in the Japanese version, he wants to see her vagina. No, not her vagina, her panties. And then he ends her up panties, seeing. But then she, but Goku took them off of her the night before. To check and see that she didn't have a dick. That's right. Okay, we're going to continue this next time because there's more I want to <laughs> say about this specific scene of Dragon Ball. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>